Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 4 on the Flat Out Media Channel. And today we are here in the Ford RS200 and we're going to be taking on, um, what is this? The Gauntlet. Yes, that's what it is. Now we've got the fans talking. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Stop. Perhaps you could test out these new drift zones. No, maybe later. Go away. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go up here today, take on the gauntlet in this Ford RS200, hopefully, if it lets us use this. And it should be interesting. It should be interesting indeed. So, here we are. So let's go ahead and let's set up the gauntlet. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here we are on the starting line and we're going with the same rules as we are for the marathon. We have simulation damage on, we have it on pro, the difficulty on pro that is, but we do have rewind on, so if we bin it somewhere massively we can always rewind, just so that our whole race isn't ruined just because of one mistake. We absolutely sent it up the inside there. And on the outside of this guy now, the other RS200. And we are flying through a good bit of the pack, but we still have to chase down the top four. But we got time, we're only 6% through the race as we lose control of the vehicle a little bit there. Yeah, we're only 6% through the race. So it should be more than fine. Seeing that we gained 5 positions within the first 10%, we should be able to get up to first place by the end of the race. Hopefully. Now of course this is an extremely upgraded RS200. It's S1900, so it doesn't have, it isn't standard. That Subaru was just all over the place. Well, as we just drive it too hard into that corner, lose the position to another RS200, and there's another one behind us in a neat livery. And off-road we go here as we are going through the mud kickers park a little bit concerning but oh wow what can you do about it really yeah we are not like these cars aren't built for the mud kickers park at all maybe I'll have to do a series at some point in the mud kickers park create a track at some point maybe but here we go, once again. Now we are chasing down 5th position. And, uh, yeah. I love this vehicle. This is possibly one of my favorite ones. From the Retro Rally Monsters. Just due to the fact that it's... Well, if you ignore that. It's quick. And it's controllable. So many of the vehicles that we that I built have been quick but incredibly squirrely. Oh, as we brush the wall there a little bit. And we are 30% through the race. Which is awesome. Awesome indeed. Sliding like crazy. Oh, didn't mean to change view there. Recover from the slide. All good. Make sure we hit the checkpoints. We don't want to end up missing a checkpoint. That would not be good. Oh, 
because this race looks like it'll be about a 10 minute race. We're 40% through the race and 4 minutes in. And the top 6 have just absolutely run away. I've absolutely run away. And there's not much we can do about it, to be honest. There's not much we can do. Okay, here we go. We're pretty much doing the Retro Rally Monsters course in reverse at the moment. And up through here, which would have been our start line. Now we're on to pavement for a little bit. Oh shoot. We should go ahead and rewind here. We completely overdrove that corner. We still overdrove it and ended up hitting the wall, but I'll have to take that. Yeah, it seems like the marathon, we had much more side-by-side -side racing, and I still won. As of right now, it seems like the AI are just kind of, like, thank you very much, see you later sort of thing. JSC is now just running away somehow. He was stuck behind me, but now all of a sudden he's just kind of running away, and I'm not exactly sure how. But he is. Maybe it's the fact that I'm sliding, but there's not much I can do about that with this car. Sadly. Saying that though, we really gained on him through here. Of course, we fell back again through the... Yeah, now he's just gone. I think it's the fact that this car just doesn't have the acceleration. This car doesn't have the acceleration of the other vehicles. Which sucks, it really does. But. There's not much you can do about it. As we're now fending off from another vehicle. But for this apparently being an off-road race, there hasn't been much off-road. Like, there's been sections of off-road, but not... Not enough that I would call it an off-road race. As we are getting closer to three-quarters of the way through the race, we are pretty much at three quarters of the way through the race at the moment. So yeah, we're on pace. To hitting about ten minutes. For this race. And the Subaru that was ahead of us is just like gone. Now, a couple other cars got ahead of us, and guess what? They're just gonna disappear too. Saying that though, it seems like we've battled our way back past the Peugeot. I think the biggest thing is, is that a lot of these cars are actually like built rallycross cars, and they have like nuts acceleration, right? And traction, because they're built to do short courses. with not much in the way of, like, straight lines. And the straight lines there is aren't for very long, so you gotta get as much acceleration as possible. Whereas this car, the car that was originally built back in the 1990s, that I've modified.
Which means that, yeah, it probably wasn't... Probably wasn't the best choice, to be honest. Probably wasn't the best choice. But we now only have 10% left in the race. Hopefully, we'll be able to hold off at least in 8th place. If we could catch the rest of the group, that would be great. We aren't going to do it doing that, though. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that was rough. You can see the other competitors, though, at the moment. I really hope I hit that. Which it appears like I did. Yeah, I think it's just too little, too late. Just too little, too late. That's the finish line's literally, like, right here. Seems like it's quite a close battle up there. But oh well, I guess we'll have to take an 8th place. Kinda sucks, but oh well, what can you do about it, really? Uh, not bad. Not bad. It's not called the gauntlet for nothing. I should we run it again. Shall we run it again? Uh, not really feeling it at the moment. 56,000 credits gets us up to 13.9 million. And 15,000 influence gets us up to uh, round 15 of dirt racing and level 118 overall. Almost level 119. Super wheel spin, here we go. Come on, cars are money, cars are money, cars are money. Come on, come on, come on. Cars are money. I will take that any day of the week. The Wedding March Horn, a Lamborghini Countach, and 175,000 credits. That's actually a pretty good wheel spin. Gets us up above 14 million credits. I'll take that. I will take that. But guys, that was kind of disappointing, but oh well, what can you do about it? I guess this car just wasn't built for it. But if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys all in the next one. Um, in the next one, we will be doing the Colossus. I think that's the one that we're going to hit up and do. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the Titan. Then we'll do the showcases and then we'll be just about done. So guys, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave. Well, I already said all that stuff. So don't forget to stay flat out.